Serbia may be divided in its attitude towards the European Union, but this weekend Belgrade will be firmly at the centre of Europe as it hosts the final of the Eurovision Song Contest. And as Ali Jose Milenkovic reports, even this event is not entirely free of politics. Traditional Serbian music and dance in the rehearsal for Belgrade's big night. It may be unshamedly kitsch, but winning the Eurovision Song Contest is a source of huge national pride here. Last year, Serbia's entry beat more than 40 countries to take victory. So on Saturday, plays host to the 53rd running of the contest. For one evening, Belgrade will be the focus of millions of European television viewers for all the right reasons. Serbian people are friendly people and the Belgrade is whatever uh, was one of the nicest uh, um, big towns in this part of the world. Serbia's relationship with Europe has long been uneasy. The Kosovo war a decade ago sparked huge anti-Western feeling. And Kosovo is a theme reflected in Serbia's Eurovision entry this year. In 1389, Serbs lost Kosovo for the first time in a battle against Ottoman forces. That day was called Vidovdan. And the six centuries on, with Kosovo's recent independence, Vidovdan is mentioned repeatedly in the song Oro. But its writer says the song is about the love of Serbia, not politics. There is a one side uh, when we are talking about the battle, you know, but it's not only that, that there is not only, only that side. The other side is our traditional motive. More than 10,000 people from dozens of countries have flocked to Serbia to witness what is undoubtedly one of Europe's greatest entertainment events. Earlier this month, Serbia voted in parliamentary elections. A new government will be critical in deciding whether this country embraces Europe for more than just one weekend. Aljo Milenkovic, Al Jazeera, Belgrade.